Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and this video is going to be about the cost of medical treatment in a public hospital if you've got no insurance. Now unfortunately there are many expats living here in Thailand without medical insurance and everybody fears how much it's going to cost if they have to go to the hospital. Well just lately my friend had to go to the hospital for one to get a, a diagnosis and two sadly he was admitted to hospital later on and I'm going to go through them costs now at uh, the treatment for a public hospital. Now we've talked about my friend before because sadly he's got dementia and we had to go and get his diagnosis at the hospital, at the public hospital before and I did another video about that earlier on but th this time he's actually started coughing and bringing up phlegm he wasn't in a very healthy situation whatsoever so we, we took him to the hospital to go and get a diagnosis now we're actually going to go through the cost of what it costs for him to go and get diagnosed at a public hospital um, and now I've got to say at, at the beginning of it that I was quite impressed with the public hospital um, we didn't wait too long that the whole trip going to the hospital and getting the diagnosis and coming away was two and a half maybe just about three hours but with that he seen a doctor at the emergency treatment <coughs> he was sent for an x-ray and he had blood tests taken and also medication prescribed to him so the whole lot less than three hours and the total bill for seeing the doctors having a chest x-ray having blood test done and medication came to 2100 baht in a public hospital here in Rayong, Thailand. Now I think the whole treatment, the whole package, two and a half, nearly three hours for 2100 baht, it was very cheap and very quick and very efficient and the doctor could speak fairly good English so, so the people that were in there with him sort of understood what was wrong with him. And sadly, he was diagnosed with TB, pulmonary tuberculosis, very infectious. So he was given medication and, and sent home because um, his girlfriend had said that they didn't really have the money to, to let him stay in hospital. Now, sadly, three or four days later, his condition got worse and he got taken into hospital. And this is where the big cost comes. And, and I would imagine this is where people fear about going into hospital and the costs. I've got to say, I'll give you the prices towards the end of the video, um, that I was pleasantly surprised. And so therefore, for people fearing going into hospital for illness, if you go to a public hospital, it's not that much to be feared. So anyway, he was taken into hospital and he had very little money to start off with, but friends and, and family pulled together to make sure that he was going to have enough money for, for any treatment. So because he had TB, he was put onto an isolation ward where, when I say an isolation ward, there was four other people in the ward and nobody was allowed to visit him at all. And they had to pay for a nurse to take care of his, his cleaning, washing and, and general care whilst he was in the hospital. Now he was in the hospital for five days in total and he was having drips, he was having medication and he was having uh, attentive care by the nurses in the hospital and so this is the public hospital so for the five days of being in hospital with a doctor visit every day in a room with four other people and uh, the attentive nurse and then he was released after five days with medication and he was feeling better after he'd been in the hospital for five days Although he wasn't very happy having to stay in the hospital, but who is happy staying in a hospital? Now, the, the total cost for treatment for five days was 54,000 baht. Now, that included the, the drips, the doctor's visits, the, the room, the attentive nurse care, and his medication for two weeks for when he was discharged from the hospital. Now, he's on something like 14 tablets per day. So they give him medication to last for two weeks and then he has to go back up for a checkup in two weeks time. Okay, I think it was very reasonable at 54,000 baht in comparison to how much it would cost you to go into the Bangkok Rayong, the private hospital. You'd be paying at least four times that amount of money. So for those people who've got no insurance, don't be afraid of going to get a checkup or a examination done at a public hospital they're very efficient very reliable 
and in, in most cases good English is spoken also. So I would say for those people, don't be afraid of going to a public hospital because you will get equally good care at a public hospital as you would do the private insurance hospital and you'd pay a lot less money. But for those people who were thinking about taking on insurance, have a look at this insurance. This insurance is with Pacific Cross and this is what I pay and I'm covered with Pacific Cross for 700,000 baht and that's a premium of less than 25,000 baht per year for the age group of 61 to 65. The insurance is not as expensive as most people would think. So if anybody's got any questions, send me an email down below here and I'll gladly answer any questions that you may have or if I can point you in the right direction, that would be good. So from Les, retired and living the dream till the next video. Bye for now.